Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Gear and Beer where we talk about adventure, motorcycle and camping gear all while enjoying a beer together. You know, there's probably 10 million products on the market for camping and motorcycles. But really when it comes down to it, sometimes the simplest products are the most useful and the giant loop pronghorn straps are no exception. You're not going to want to miss this one. All right guys, today's beer is a, it's called Burr. It's a hoppy red Northwest red ale. It's brewed from Winmer Brothers uh, out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, this has been around since 19, or the brewery has been around since 1984, been around a long time and they produce some pretty good beers, but we're gonna go ahead and get into this. This is a, like I said, a hoppy red ale, a little bit different than what I usually am used to. Cause as you guys know, a lot of times I like to drink, um, you know, hoppy or like IPAs and things like that. But this red ale is actually really good considering it is hoppy. Uh, and once again, I've got the uh, Backcountry Adventure Motorsports uh, etched pint glasses. If you guys are interested in these, we still have a few of these left. Just make sure and hit the PayPal button, the donate button, donate 20 bucks, and I will send this out to you that covers the shipping and everything. So um, if you're interested in one of these glasses, uh, check out that pay PayPal link down below, do a $20 donation and we'll get one out to you. Um, I do have some more of these on order. So if I do sell out, um, I'll have some here really soon. And I can get one out to you as well, but uh, let's go ahead and pour this beer into this glass and get started with this gear review. Here is another look at that beer in this cool etched Backcountry Venture Motorsports glass. All right, guys, cheers. That is a that is a good one right there. Um, yeah, it's it has that nice kind of that malty yet hoppy flavor. If you're any if you know anything about beer or you're kind of a beer snob or a beer nerd, um, this is a good one. If you've never had it, it's a good winter beer. Um, I'm not sure if you can see my breath in here. It's a little chilly in here, so having this darker beer, it just kind of warms you up a little bit. This video is sponsored by Giant Loop, and Giant Loop has been a sponsor of this channel for about four years now, and as a matter of fact, was Backcountry Adventure Motorsports' first sponsor. Harold over there at Giant Loop, the owner is just a stellar dude. He is really passionate about motorcycles and makes they make products for motorcycles, ATVs, UTVs, and not only that, but they also give to a lot of charities, Veterans Back 40 being one of them, which is super cool. But if you get a chance and you're ever in Bend, make sure and stop by their facility. They have a cool showroom there, as well as like a little bar garage thing that's just really neat. So yeah, if you're ever in town in Bend, Oregon, make sure and stop by and say hi. So as I mentioned, uh, Giant Loop makes uh, products for just about any type of motorsport, and they're really known for making lightweight, functional gear. Uh, this pronghorn strap is no exception. I I've had other Giant Loop products on this channel before. Um, they, in my opinion, just make some of the best stuff on the market. And this is an extremely simple product. Now, these pronghorn straps are made to basically lash or tie just about anything to anything you want to for the most part. Uh, this is the new 2020 version, has a little bit different buckle. I've got some older versions here and they range anywhere from, uh, this one's actually really short. I think it's roughly 12 inches, but most of the ones they sell, these actually came with another product, uh, are 18, 25 and 32 inches. Um, this one is a one inch model. Um, I do not believe they still sell this one, but uh, I've got a variety of them here and I actually have probably 12 or 15 of these straps and I have them on every motorcycle in every ATV and in every vehicle that I own because you just really never know what you could possibly use it for. They're kind of like bungee cords. They just have a ton of different uses. Um, I use these particular ones for strapping my, my top bag to my motorcycle. That's the main use I use for it, but I've used it to haul you know, firewood. I've used it to strap down my fishing pole or my fly rod to my motorcycle. There are literally endless uses for these things. So to show you how this mechanism works on these straps, really it's super simple. I'm gonna take this water bottle just for an example and show you. You basically take the end of it, you put it, you thread it through, you pull down and back, and it automatically finds, a, finds its home in one of the holes. These are made of a really high tension rubber. You can, I mean, you can pull, 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 and they will not break. Um, the only time I've ever broke one of these is when I was using it on my snow bike 
and it was literally like zero degrees outside. So I've got my Honda Africa Twin here, and this is just a quick example of how easy this is. Um, I've got th this bag on the back, and I have, you know, obviously this could be any bag that you wanted to strap onto here. I'm just using this as an example. And I have my luggage rack here. Um, really easy to strap it on. You just go around your attachment point, come around, thread it through, pull, and you're solid, it's, it's on there. I mean, you can move the whole bike with it. Another really cool thing about this is that you can also take them and say it's not long enough, right? You need a little bit extra. You can actually marry them together to make them even longer. So that's just a really quick example of how you can strap something to your motorcycle by using the pronghorn straps. You know, one sometimes works, sometimes two is better. It really just depends on what you're doing. And you know, really, like I said, there's nearly endless ways that you can use these things. You can use them backpacking, camping, you can use them to, I've actually used them to hold lumber together in the back of my pickup for two by fours because I didn't have any more ratchet straps. It's just, you know, they, you find uses for them all the time. They're really inexpensive. And as I said, they're extremely durable. You just can't not find uses for them. One thing I do like about the 2020 model versus the old ones is that the 2020 model has a metal clip here versus a plastic. Um, honestly, I've never had the plastic one fail on me, but you know, the fact that it's metal, surely it's gonna be stronger. Um, the older version of the one inch wide ones also had a metal, uh, uh, clasp on it. So that was pretty nice. You can pick up these pronghorn straps on my website at ridewithbam.com. At the time of this video, it's actually under construction right now and it will be available here shortly. But at the time, if you click on these, if you click on the website and it's not available yet, head over to giantloopmoto.com and you can pick them up there as well. Another really simple product that I find extremely useful is the giant loop pull handle. Now these are great because you can attach them again, literally to just about anything and use it to, to lift your bike, to pull your bike up a hill. Um, I found tons of uses for these. The, where I really get the most use out of these are my dirt bike and my snow bike. And I'll show you a example of how these work. So I've got my snow bike here on the rack. I just got done installing uh, the front ski and getting ready to go out this weekend. But um, as you can see, I've got the giant loop pull strap here. And what's nice about this is you can literally, instead of grabbing you know, the, this metal part here or the forks, you can literally just grab this rubber handle and you know, say you bury the ski or you're trying to get up over uh, you know, a log or anything like that, you can really just grab the handle and you really yank on it. Another good spot to mount it is just under the headlight or above the fender. That's another good point to attach. That way you can have some good leverage when you're trying to get it up a hill or rocks or anything like that. Obviously you're, you are being the helper person as the other person is on the bike to control it, but um, that's just another good use for it. All right guys, so as I mentioned, the pronghorn straps and the Giant Loop tug strap, both are super simple, excellent products made by Giant Loop. Again, if you're interested in any of these, head over to giantloopmoto.com or my website at ridewithbam.com to pick these up. Um, again, if you're interested in picking up one of these glasses, hit that PayPal link down below, donate $20 and make sure your address is attached to your PayPal account and I'll get one sent out to you. Anything left over after paying for the glass and the shipping goes into the channel so I can produce, keep producing videos just like this. If you have any questions about these pronghorn straps or this giant loop tug strap, definitely hit me in the comments below. Please, if you haven't yet, hit that like button if you found this video useful. And also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon. That way you get it notified next time I release one of these videos. Well, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Cheers. We'll see you next time.